Okay guys, today on Chris Does What, I'm going to do a review of this inexpensive Tenda wireless router, uh, access point, extender, repeater, whatever you want to call it, you know, $16 on Amazon, can't beat the price, and um, it seems to be a, a really good product. I've already taken it out of the box, done some testing on it. So. I'll show you what I'm looking at, I'll show you how I set this up, and uh, I'll show, show you the, the menus and all the features this thing offers for just 16 bucks. So y'all stay tuned. Okay guys, so when you get the product out of the box, this is what it looks like. You'll see it has three Ethernet ports. These are RJ45 connectors with a WAN port, RJ45. It has your power connector right here, 9 volts. They send you a power adapter and a reset button. I've already reset this so we can go back over the setup and configuration of it. It also includes an Ethernet cord. So if you do have a modem or something, you're not going to set this up as a repeater and you can plug in your modem or another router. Or you can use this Ethernet cable for something else. These things aren't cheap. Okay, so I did an existing speed test on my router to see how fast my wireless connection is to my two-year-old router and uh, my current download speed is 71 megabytes upload speed 14 then you want to browse to the Tenda device connect to it after you make a connection to your device the Tenda wizard will pop up if it does not pop up, browse to your device. When you first look at your device, you'll see download speed, upload speed, attached devices, which is this computer. It's already configured for the internet connection. It did that automatically. So if you plug your router or your, uh, you plug this router into a, another router or a uh, modem, it should set up automatically for you. Your internet setting, of course, would set to dynamic. Um, PPPoE is dial-up, and then a static IP would be assigned by ISP provider or your local area network if you do not have a dynamic IP network. Wireless settings is just on and off, you can go ahead and change your SID if you want here. You can also change your security mode. You can use multiple SIDs, which I don't see the advantage of that, but you can do it. Wi-Fi schedule, and then your wireless per, uh, parameters. This is a BGN network. You can limit it to just GB or BG. Your wireless channel I have set to auto, but sometimes changing this can help your, uh, your speed. I usually don't mess with it. And your channel width. I'm going to leave this to the 40 megahertz. Your bandwidth control. This is a neat option. It, <coughs> it allows you to, if you share this, say, like this router is going to my son, so he can plug it into his modem and he's on the Air Force Base, he could share his internet with his friends. And he can also limit his friends. So he could limit his friends to 128 kilobytes per second 
web browsing or SD video or HD video you can this will serve as a wireless repeater and also you can use this as a for wireless internet service providers which is cool I've never had a wireless internet service provider but that would be pretty cool but if you use a universal repeater or wireless internet service provider this is basically going to act as pass-through parental controls you can get really granular if you have uh, different age children you can set for different times for their internet to shut off just click manage and basically set the time to the time and when you want it to to happen you're advanced port forwarding we're not doing any of that here you could put say you wanted to do an FTP on port 21 there you go you need your IP address and your MAC address of where this is going to forward to administration so here is where you can actually change your password for your administration page you have your WAN parameters I'm going to leave this uh, alone you have your LAN parameters this is where I change the IP from 0 0.1 to 1.1 because my current network is 0 0.1 you have your uh, uh, subnet mask. You have your range of IPs. You want this to dynamically issue. Remote management, so you can actually manage this to the uh, from the internet. All you need to do is browse to your public IP address. You set your time zone. It did set for me automatically, Eastern Standard Time. Reboot, reset, backup, restore. Uh, export or browse so you can export your set, uh, settings or your syslog I'm sorry you can back up your configuration restore your configuration you can reset it to factory default or reboot it all from the screen now let's go ahead and do a speed test to see how it compares to our 71 megabytes download speed upload speed 14 both routers are in about the same location. I'm going to run this twice to see if I get varied results. My upload speed looks to be better than my other router was, but my download speed not as good. This would be plenty fast enough to game or anything like that. So, we're good to go. All in all, I'd say this is not a bad device, especially for 16 bucks. Uh, see link below if you want your very own. And uh, per the provider, this is an older model, so I'm sure this has limited quantities, so hurry up while they last. If you get the new one, they work similar, and pretty much all routers I've worked with work similar to this one. I just like the price point of this one. If you're looking for great recipes, be sure to check out DiningInWithDanielle.com. Made me the man I am today. She has new recipes coming out all the time, and uh, the selections are growing. So she's been trying to put out a recipe a week. 
Really yummy stuff. There she is. <laughs> Working on right, right now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was going to make a, a little short video on that, but I don't want y'all to see things I'm eating that you don't have the privilege of making. <laughs> if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there somewhere. Looks about like this. And y'all please take care.